Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. So I'm sharing with you what I bring to, for traveling as a minimalist. All right, so we have my backpack right here. So inside right now we have a hoodie. So even though I'm traveling in the summer, it's a good idea to bring one of these. It's not very large. So it's a, just a good convenient thing to have just in case because you never know it might get cold one day So socks, I'm gonna bring about five pairs or so because Realistically, I can just wash them in the sink. It's gonna be the same thing with underwear like this one specifically. It's very Easy to dry because of the material it'll dry in a couple hours after washing it in a sink or something a mask just in case because sometimes we still need those handkerchief maybe it's really hot and sweaty you can just use this to wipe yourself I'm gonna bring like four of those it should be able to fit in here quite easily and we also have a duffel bag so it's pretty small right now now it's bigger I'll use this so I can bring things back souvenirs and what and here's a standard shirt that I have I have like ten of these I'm gonna bring about five with me Realistically, if I'm in dire need, I can wear one twice, but that's probably not going to happen because realistically after wearing it, I'll just wash it and then leave it to dry. So I'm going to bring five of these. We have a pair of shorts and two pairs of pants. Then we have noise canceling earbuds. In case it's loud at night, this will make it easier to sleep if the walls are thin, etc have a wireless phone charger. I'm also going to bring a wired version because phone's basically your lifeline when you're abroad. Having just one option is not good enough, but it doesn't take up much space luckily, so it's easy to bring. Then you want to bring all your documents, your passport, etc. This is blank paper for obvious reasons, but realistically just act like this is all of your forms. Like, So I recommend that you have a physical copy of each one of your hotel confirmation numbers. This way you can just walk into the hotel, show them the paper and you're done. Realistically, it's good to also have a copy of it on your phone. So if you use Expedia, have the app, have a screenshot of the confirmation number and the date, and you can probably just get in with that too. Just have like two or three options for every hotel that you have. You can physically write it down, you can print a copy, you can have a screenshot, but as you can see, that's why having a phone is very important. So make sure you have two chargers, wireless and wired, or just multiple wires. So just make sure that you have that. It's very important. Also, have a physical sheet where you just have a backup of your passwords to things like your hotel. Have uh, emergency numbers for the consulate of your country and the country that you're traveling to. Have your bank's phone number, any emergency phone numbers. If you have travel insurance, which you definitely should get travel insurance, it's not that expensive and it just protects you. When you have that, make sure you have their number as well and then you can call them if any issues arrive, arise. And it's just good to have a written version in case your phone dies. And then also, of course, keep it on your phone because maybe the paper can get wet. Just hope that both of those don't happen, but realistically, it's probably going to be fine if you're careful. It's good to just have backups of everything. Realistically, in the hotel, I can just sink wash my clothes, let it dry over the bathtub, I'm done. I'm not gonna be spending tons of time in the hotel. The hotel probably give me extra towels, they usually always do, more than I will ever need. So if you're worried about it dripping on the floor, just lay out one of the extra towels they give you, and then the water will drip on that instead. So. It doesn't really cause any issues for you or the hotel. You're just utilizing what they already give you, and this way you can bring less clothes. If you go to a place that needs cash, especially having two wallets will be convenient. You can use one that has a little bit of cash and maybe any transit cards that you need for getting around, and then you have your main wallet that is securing most of your money. Because realistically, if you get pickpocketed, you don't really want to have to deal with losing all of your money or your, impert or your important documents. So having a dummy wallet is a good idea, especially if you're going abroad. 
You also want to bring one of those little pins that'll let you change the SIM card within your phone. If you can do a digital SIM, that might be more convenient, but if you have an older model, or you don't think the digital SIM will work, or you just don't trust it for some reason, or if it just ends up not working, having the option to shift out a physical SIM will be useful. Realistically, if you buy a physical SIM, you'll, you'll probably have the option of like buying the thing that lets you pull it out as well. But realistically, most phones already come with one. So just look in your phone box. You probably already have one of these little pins that you can use to push in your SIM and take it out. I'm also bringing a backup duffel bag. So it's a really small size. It'll just fit nice and compactly inside of this backpack. So I can get by with just having a carry-on bag on the flight. Some flights will let you have two bags, so that's something you want to look into the requirements on. Realistically, I plan to bring some things back, like candy and food and stuff and whatever. Or like just little toys, whatever, statues. Just like little knickknacks from the country that I'm going to. So it's good to be efficient with space. As a minimalist, I don't really buy like tons and tons of stuff, but I'll likely need a second backpack but not on the way there, more on the way back. And then just a good idea, also bring some extra glasses with you if you wear them. Second pair, you never know, in case something happens. All right, everyone, I hope you found this video helpful. There's not going to be a video, uh, there's not gonna be a long form video on this channel over the next few weeks. There might be some shorts coming up because I'm gonna be on vacation. I'll be in Japan and Korea for about two weeks. But then my semester at school starts, so I'll have a busy first week getting used to how things are going. But once I'm used to it, I'll go back to having a weekly upload. There will be a lot of Japan and Korea themed content coming out on the channel over the next few months. So I'm looking forward to it, and I hope that you find those videos helpful too. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.